Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. It is here y'all. This is the most beautiful, glorious spring morning to choose to do this task, which is the first of many throughout the spring and summer. You guys know, if you've watched last year at all, we're gonna move the paddock today. Um, every year is a little bit different, different strategy um, because of different circumstances. So this year we have a little bit um, a different challenge with more goats, but we have more fencing, but we also have other things to consider, um, which is what to do after the paddock move. Um, this year we have a tractor, so I can mow behind uh, where the goats were. So um, the most important thing to do right now is to just get started. Uh, so got to break down the old paddock and start building a new one. one thing that is the bane of my existence when it comes to setting up a new paddock with a premier fence. It is a simple twig. I'm telling you what, if one of these gets stuck inside of your premier fence when you're uh, either pulling it up or um, making a new paddock or something, this right here is going to slow your process down significantly. We have tons of little twigs here because we have trees all over the place. So this uh, is what makes setting up a paddock take extra long for me, is having to stop and remove all these little twigs. Here we go, y'all. This is the first paddock move of the season, and now we are capable of such a much bigger space than we were before. Um, last year, I had to move paddocks every single week, if I was lucky. Sometimes I, I wasn't able to set up a new one, but now, we have more fencing and we have more goats. So a much bigger area should keep them satisfied. It's looking like I'm able to divide this pasture up into three large paddocks. Um, whereas last year there was several smaller paddocks. So uh, this year will be different. We'll just have to see how it goes, how long it takes them to go through this area. There's lots of lush green grass and other plants for them to eat out here so um, paddock is now done next step putting some goats in it check it out guys they've got the new paddock eating all the grass eating all the little plants clovers uh, other stuff coming up you name it they've got they have a lot of options in here. I can't tell if the boys are happy or sad that the girls are so close by. <laughs> they just can't get to them. And 
and I was able to still keep the chickens enclosed in their own section of the electric net fence with Khaleesi and we're going to continue to do that until we feel that the situation is safe enough that we can just have Khaleesi buy them. I got to make some uh, some repairs to some of the tractors and kind of rethink how we're going to do the paddock thing but for right now they're still protected by the electric fence. The goats look really happy. looking pretty content for right now so we're gonna leave them be and I've got to go round up the boys and Rose and then we're headed off to my parents to celebrate Easter with them and we'll check in later on and see just how much these goats have eaten in one day so stick around and we'll be back in a little bit made it back to the homestead changed back out into my farm clothes and came out to do evening chores and let's check out what the goats have done today so they had quite a bit to eat already luckily it looks like they have not eaten it all just yet i see lots of tops missing from the grass You can see that they ate the top of it, but not the whole thing. It's probably sweeter up at the top. Everybody seems to be happy. Everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. And there you have it guys, the first paddock move of the season and it was a success everybody. Everybody seems glad to be in a new spot for a change. Now I think I have enough time that if I can hurry up and get the chicken chores taken care of, I just might have enough time to jump on the tractor for a few minutes. So I'm going to run and do that. And thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and share our videos. If you find them informative, tell your friends. Um, and just don't forget to hit the like button. It's right there. Just click that like button. You guys have a good one. It's been great. Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots.